Hello, go back to my channel, and here we are going to work on the other part of the question on this mechanical drawing. Uh, here, question B says that we should draw end elevation and direction of arrow E, and question C says that we should draw sectional front elevation on plane ZZ. This is plane ZZ, so this is the plane, it goes like this, it goes like this, and to the other side. Now, since we are asked to draw this of the, the views. A first angle orthograph projection. I'm not going to draw the end elevation now, so I'm going to work on the sectional view now. So that's what I want to do. So uh, you don't have to worry yourself, you can answer either um, anyone that you can do first. So you can do that for bit. Uh, I've started with the plan as we asked to draw the plan. We have drawn the plan, so I want to work on sec question C which is the sectional front elevation of plane ZZ. So I'm going to do that, putting it here in the front elevation, just looking at this paper that this paper will be enough for this work. Um, okay, what can I do? I can do something. So let me quickly do that while I pause the video. Okay, so let's remember that we are given a scale to use and the scale is 3 ratio 2, which means that uh, each dimension that we have uh, on this object, we are going to uh, multiply by 3 over 2 and whatever we get is what we are going to make use of okay so let's work on the front elevation so for the front elevation I don't have to uh, take the measurement of the length again or sectional front elevation so we are going to cut this we are still making use of this length at uh, 100 but we are going to multiply by 3 over 2 so which I have already done here alright so I just project this up that's what I'm going to do but the height now the height um, I think that's where we are going to do this work because according to what we are given here so this uh, line uh, it doesn't have uh, a okay all right so sorry so we are told that distance from here to here is 10 millimeters from here to here is 10 millimeters so this 10 millimeters I'm going to add it with this 50 so that will give us 60 millimeters and then um, so for this uh, semicircle here for this semicircle that we have here um, so looking at what we have here um, I can see that it's as if the radius of this is not given but looking at what we have here I think we are going to use um, so the radius from here to here we are going to use 20 millimeters okay yeah 20 millimeters because from here to here is 10 from here to here is another 10 so which means that from this point to this point is 10 and from here to here is, that's 20 millimeters so which means the total height is 10 plus 50 that's 60 and 60 plus 20 that will give us 80 millimeters with this part here so we have 80 millimeters so if I multiply 80 millimeters by 3 over 2 and that will be giving me 120 millimeters so I'll be having 120 millimeters so we are working on the front elevation so I need to make sure we can see it very bad we need to for the length for the length we are going to draw a vertical line from this point that's for the length I've already done that multiplying that with uh, 3 over 2 that is 100 times 3 over 2 so I've already done that already so I don't have to do that again so I just come up a little bit and then I will draw horizontal line here I will draw horizontal line like this then I'm going to take a measurement of 120 millimeters so, uh, um, okay So we take a measurement of 120 millimeters from here. So 120. So this is 120 millimeters here. Okay, so we take that. So I'm going to draw a horizontal line uh, from here. I will draw a horizontal line. Okay, so like this. Alright, so um so the next thing that I'm going to do, <coughs> excuse me, so is that I'm going to, so I need to get this shape out, 
and to get this shape but we are cutting it and we are removing this part we want to see what we have left here that's what we want to do so uh, what I have to do now is that um, so I need to project I need to project the so I need to draw this uh, distance here I need to project it so just let me come up like this so here I take this up okay so and also so this point also I will draw a vertical line here so here also I will draw a vertical line okay so then so coming here so I've already drawn a vertical line for that so the next that I'm going to do here so I will take a measurement of 60 millimeters that is this 10 here plus this 50 that's 60 for me to get this uh, level here for me to get this level so that's what I want to do now so I will take 60 millimeters up 60 millimeters up so this is 60 sorry 60 millimeters multiplied by 3 over 2 and that will give us 90 millimeters so this is 90 millimeters here so here I'm going to draw a uh, horizontal line so here I will draw horizontal line all right so with that horizontal line that I've drawn so I need to get a distance from here to here I need to get this point here so this time from here to here is 20 millimeters so plus this 10 making it 30 and 30 times 3 over 2 and that is going to give us a uh, 45 millimeters so I'm going to take a measurement of 45 millimeters I'm going to do it at this end here 45 millimeters this 45 millimeters here okay so with this 45 millimeters so um okay so i don't have to draw a line i just need to join this point so this point here so we join together with this point so for us to have that particular surface so i will join this together like this okay so we join that together and then so another thing that we have here so we are going to um so we are going to see a line at this point here so by the time we cut it we see a line that goes in so that is what this is from here to here from this point down is 10 and 10 times um so that is going to be 15 so i have to take a measurement of 15 millimeters down from here 15 millimeters from this point so this is 15 millimeters so here i will draw horizontal line from here to here like this Okay, so then and that thing that we are going to see here. Um, so another thing that we are going to see here is that we are going to see this semicircle here. So this semicircle we are going to see it as a curve. It's going to give us a curve, and then we have it within this part here. So and as we have it, this is 30. So 30 by 2 that is 15. I need to get the midpoint so here I'm going to draw a vertical center line okay then uh, I will also take 30 millimeters down 30 millimeters down so 30 millimeters uh, is it 30 okay oh. okay that will be 15 so I will take 15 millimeters Okay, so distance from here to here is that's 20 so 20 by okay from here to here is 10 so that's 15 so that'll be 15 millimeters if I multiply 10 by 3 over 5 that's 15 millimeters so here we have 15 millimeters so just for me to get the uh, midpoint of that so this is the midpoint so then I'm going to take my compass so I take my compass So 
taking my compass I put at this point okay so touching this point here sorry I put it at this point so it touches this point here so then I'm going to draw a semicircle Alright, so we have that like that. So the next one that I'm going to do here is for me to get a cuff on this part here. So for me to get a cuff on this part. So then, um, so we have the midpoint here. So uh, total distance from here to here is uh, 60. So 60 by 2 is 30. So we have 30. So I'll just take. I draw a vertical line um, so draw a vertical line like this so then I put the point on my compass here like this so it touches this point so all right so I can go on and draw a semicircle like this going to have a curve like this here so any other thing that we need to put here in the front elevation um, I think uh, nothing else nothing else so all this part that are solid so we have to uh, hash them that's what we are going to do next but before that we need to so make this line so you take line down here and also so make this a thick line from here to here also this line so make this line a thick line and then this line also so thick line from here to here okay so um this line so we are going to see this line as a thick line from here to here. So also this line, we also have it as a thick line. Okay. Then this line also. So we draw it as a thick line. All right. So now having this, the next thing that we are going to do is to hash the solid uh, surface of it so we are not going to ash this part so we are not going to ash it we are not going to ash this and we are we are going to ask because this has become a solid now so we are going to ash this surface so it's a very large surface so i will just take it like this okay uh, should have started from So when you are arching, you have to watch it very well. So just one part. So um, nothing is uh, demarcating them. everything is one part so we are going to arch in the same direction 
so that's what I'm doing right now Alright, so this is the shark sectional front elevation as we ask to draw. It's as simple as I've done. Say thank you and God bless you. Let's meet on the end elevation. Thank you.